What can I learn from a design? One of the best ways to learn to digitize is to study well digitized designs from a variety of digitizers. Each will bring their own ideas and techniques and help you to develop yours. In this exercise, I'll work through selected objects and make a comment. The first object in the design is the Aboriginal warrior's head. The color object list tells me the shape has been created with a complex fill tool and the stitch type is tatami. The object properties show the stitch spacing is 0.36 of a millimeter, stitch length is 4 millimeters, and the offset fraction 0.33 by 0.33. Looking more closely, I notice there is a curve in the tatami stitching. There is no evidence of this in the color object list, but look under the effects button and the curves tab, and you will see the Florentine fill has been applied. Notice in the Stitch Effects toolbar, the Florentine Fill icon is also active. While we have the Stitch Effects toolbar open, note the first two icons are also active, and by right clicking on them, we can see their properties Underlay and Pull Compensation. Selecting the black detail, I can see in the color object list a number of objects that have been branched together to eliminate thread trims and effectively create a single object. The third column indicates the branching tool and the fourth tells me there is more than one stitch type included in the branched group. By breaking the group apart, you can see the various input methods and stitch types that have been branched. Moving on to the sun and the birds. When I attempt to select one part of the design, the whole group is selected. Notice the interlocking squares in the color object list indicating a group. By right clicking and choosing ungroup, then I'm able to select parts of that group. Condense the color object list and you can see there are two more groups indicated by the interlocking squares of different colors. The sun is comprised of a red fill and the yellow shading with an accordion spacing applied. Also evidenced in the stitch effects toolbar. Right clicking brings up the properties of the accordion spacing and the Trapunto setting, which hides any travel runs by forcing them to the perimeter of the object and squares the ends of each row of stitching. And one final comment. Anyone who has been to my classes knows how important I think it is to eliminate unnecessary thread trims. Looking at the star, here are two ways to identify them. From the view toolbar, the fifth and sixth icons indicate connectors and trims. The triangles are the trims, and the dotted lines are the connecting jump stitches, and the small circles are the tie-ins. Or, if you use the travel toolbar, travel through the design by trim, and the cursor will stop at every trim. To eliminate the trims, select the objects, and hit the keyboard shortcut J, to align the start and finish points and eliminate the trims.